it's undeniable that John, Nora, and Ren have had more training than either Blake, Yang, or Weiss. John, Nora, and Ren, along with Ruby, were traveling through the wild lines, fighting Wild Grim as part of their training arc, I guess. Crow did say that it takes a lot to fight out there, so I can accept that. Every day out there is worth a week in this place. Meanwhile, Blake did some like Blake literally did nothing. She got on a boat, went home, did did nothing regarding getting stronger, then together with an army came directly to Haven. Yang did some light sparring with her father, and if I'm being extremely generous, I can say I can also add in that she was also fighting Wild Grim while trying to get to Haven. So yeah, I can accept like Yang is the second best trained of second on member of Team Ruby with the most training. Advice learned how to summon and we also volume five. I apologize for playing volume 5 without appropriate warning. Meanwhile, R Ruby, Nora, John, and Ren all had direct training from Ospin for like a month. Getting you four into fighting shape. And then all of them were trained by the Ace Ops. So, let's see if I can put this together. Somehow, a single criminal from Vale, who was basically Torchwood's lackey, managed to mop the floor with the entirety of Team Juniper, minus Pera, and Oscar, but Team Ruby were able to defeat the Ace Ops without any serious injury. We're the best huntsmen in Atlas. You were. Then you trained us. Anyone who tells you Team Ruby make beating the Aesops makes sense in any other context than it's consistent with the horrible power level link of this show is wrong. Like, I, but, but please, by all means, if any of you have an answer to, what, to all the evidence I've laid before you, I'd like to see it. The only other argument you could make is that individually Blake, Weiss and Yang are stronger than Nora, John and Ren. To which I have to go... What? Like... What? How, how, how can you even make that argument? And Volume 2 had literally had a fight scene that showed Nora whacking the shit out of Yang. And so does that mean we can write off the success of them taking on an aged, I forgot what it's called, centaur monster at the end of volume 5? Does that mean we should just write off that victory because apparently it didn't mean much? Because if Ruby had our original team straight out of Beacon, they could have taken it. 